Hi Pisces, welcome to your reading and this is your April 30 to May 1st of 2020. This is for Pisces Ascendant, Moon Rising and Venus Placement on their chart. Jupiter may also resonate with the reading. Cross Watchers are always welcome. So Cross Watchers, I don't know you personally, but you know yourself better. So if I describe someone here and you know that it is not you, Please, don't put yourself into someone else's character, especially if it's not you, okay? Don't take the reading personally because you're not the only person connecting with a Pisces. And for those new in this channel, you might want to consider subscribing for I'm always hosting a party online. What I mean by that is I'm doing a live stream and you can ask me question on the live stream and that will be free of charge. So Pisces, if you resonate with the reading, congratulations. If you do not resonate with the reading, then come back to the reading after a week or two. <coughs> if you resonate with, I mean, if you resonate with some bits and pieces of it, then still congratulations for I am doing a collective reading. Thank you so much Pisces for appreciating that I'm doing a short videos because I don't believe in a long video if it's not needed to i don't want to go round and round with the situation or with the explanation if the only explanation is they'll leave you or they're going to come back you know that i always stay true with the reading with a card so even in the live stream you know right that if the person will not going to come back i'm going to tell it okay um i don't do sugar coating so and i don't want to waste your time and my time as well speaking of let's start with the reading <clears throat> you're manifesting a stability you're manifesting a foundation you're manifesting this marriage it's here very straightforward you might be connecting with a Libra or has a Libra placement on their chart. Travel may also be involved. You are far from each other, right? Um, this confused me now because what's the judgment will be? Because there is something going on with your connection to this person because it's kind of shaky. Um, because probably because of the distance. But just so you know, Ten of Cups, family life is here. Marriage card is here. A strong depiction of a marriage marriage card. The Hermit, you might be connecting with a Virgo or has a Virgo placement on your chart. But either way, this relationship will last for a long time. I mean, will last for a lifetime. Someone here will be, will be very enlightened. And this will be your wish fulfillment. This will be your happiness. Um, Six of Swords. So travel may also be really involved. But this person, I can see some age gap here. This is um, also, this is your card, Pisces. So this is strong manifestation. That This is your reading. So Pisces, this person is also trying to um, spy on you. Um, try also to check on you check on e your every post um, This person wanted to build a bridge build the gap between you um, This person really loves you Just I said this person has a huge amount of love to you and you might be connecting with a um, Sagittarius or has Sagittarius placement, but this person will really be patient with you Thank you. All right. Um, this person will be very understanding. And this person is the one that you wished for from above. So, again, there may be misunderstanding, but that's relationship, right? So, Pisces, this is your reading. If you want to go in-depth, you can book a personal reading with me. So if you resonate with this, click the subscribe button, smash that notification bell, and comment down below. I'm very interactive. Thank you so much for watching. Love and light to you. Namaste. See you in the next reading.